Hello, I'm Jo Shorthouse. I'm the managing editor on Script. I'm here at BioEurope in Copenhagen and I'm joined by Gilead Rade, who is the COO of Red Hill Pharma. Uh, Red Hill Pharma is a specialty company who uh, focuses on gastrointestinal diseases. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, you've marketed several drugs in the gastrointestinal uh, disease space, but I wanted to talk to you about RHB 104, um, which I believe is taking an antibiotic approach to Crohn's disease. So could you tell me a little bit about that and the approach that it's taking? Certainly. Uh, RHB 104 is a novel approach to treating Crohn's disease. It's looking at the disease as a potential uh, reaction to an infection by a specific pathogen called the Mycobacterium avium paratuberculosis. And we have uh, recently completed a large phase three study, the first global phase three study, to evaluate an anti-mycobacterial therapy in uh, treating Crohn's patients. Uh, so we're, we're very pleased to have positive top-line results recently announced and presented at uh, the UEG conference uh, recently. Uh, and we can go into the details of the, uh, of the results. So you're doing additional phase three studies as well? Tell me a bit about those. Yes, we uh, are currently still analyzing the full set from the uh, phase three study, which met its primary endpoint uh, of remission uh, in Crohn's right. patients at 26 weeks. Secondary endpoints were also uh, achieved and uh, successfully showing maintenance of that remission and consistent benefit to the Crohn's patients um, in the study. Once we uh, complete the analysis in the next few months, we are planning to put together a um, steering committee of key opinion leaders in the field who will help us complete the interpretation of the results as a whole for the study and uh, put together a plan for the next step, hopefully a pivotal study that will confirm these results and allow us to bring the product to uh, the patients. Okay. Um, and so beginning of next year we should see some more results? Yes, we, uh, we expect to have a meeting with the agency, with FDA, mm -hmm. uh, when we have finished the analysis and put the proposal for the next study in place. And uh, once we've completed that meeting with FDA, probably end of Q1, uh, beginning of Q2 of uh, next year, we will uh, prepare the next study and try to execute that as fast as possible for the benefit of the patients. Okay. Um, so what else is in the Red Hill pipeline to be excited about? Um, I believe there's RHB 105. Uh, tell me a bit about that. So RHB 105, or Talesia as we call it, is a, a new Helicobacter pylori treatment, uh, infectious uh, disease treatment. And the problem with Helicobacter pylori uh, infectious disease is its resistance to existing treatment, standard of care. And we're developing the next generation of antibiotic treatment to treat Helicobacter pylori. We are currently completing a confirmatory phase three study, which will, uh, this is post a successful previous phase three study, which uh, successfully showed uh, high rates of eradication of Helicobacter pylori with Talesia. Uh, and this is again standard of care, which uh, showed only 60 to 70% eradication uh, because of the resistance to existing therapies. So this confirmatory study, uh, if successful, we uh, expect to have top line results at the end of this quarter, before the end of this quarter. Uh, and that should allow us to move ahead and submit an NDA in early 2019 okay. for approval of the product in the US. And we have priority review based on, uh, in accordance with QIDP, Qualified Infectious Disease Product designation that we have from FDA yeah. for this product which would allow us, if everything goes well, to launch the product still within 2019. So oh that gosh. could be our very first in-house development uh, product to reach the market. Exciting times. Very exciting. Um, just one final thing. You raised, um, I believe, 25 million um, in August. 25 million dollars. Um, what are we using that cash for? Yes, the, re the recent raise uh, allows us, uh, we, with the chest of cash that we have already, uh, currently at the end of uh, August of this year, 2018, we had $43 million. Uh, we uh, will use that to complete the Telesia Phase 3 study okay. that's ongoing uh, and to uh, advance additional pipeline products that we have, uh, for example, a Phase 3 study in non-tuberculous mycobacteria, which is being planned for, uh, initiated, to be initiated in 2019. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, to prepare the ground for a pivotal uh, phase three, pivotal study for Crohn's with RHB 104. Mm -hmm. um, but that doesn't necessarily mean we have already all the resources to complete that, but certainly right. to begin that process. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much for joining me um, and have a good conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.